choose your battles. A common phrase we've heard way too often. When someone tells you to choose your battles, it is probably because they can notice that you are putting way too much emotion and energy into a particular decision or situation you need to confront in your life. And you often get upset or angry at the possible outcomes, especially if they're not playing out in your favor. Where there are people, there will be conflict. Where there are words, there will be misunderstandings. Opinions, there will be debates. We are human and we are different, and it is only natural to differ, disagree, or even fight. There are things you cannot avoid, battles to fight, opinions and rights to defend. And there are moments when you need to recognize that it's time to walk away. You need to cut your losses and silence your ego. You need to protect your future by letting go of your past and making a compromise with your present. Let's face it, most battles have their root in anger. Either someone is angry at you or you're angry with someone. Regardless of which came first, the chicken or the egg, by the time most battles get going, both parties are angry. Anger, like all of our emotions, was created by God. Even God himself was often angry throughout the Bible. Where do you think that whole flood thing came from? Anger was intended to help us fight evil in the world. And God wants us to be angry at sin, like Jesus was. In the book of Matthew, Jesus went into the temple in Jerusalem. And when he saw that the merchants were using the church to make money, he became angry. And I quote, And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all that sold and brought, bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold the doves. I don't know about you, but he sounds angry to me. He was not sinning, though. He chose that battle. He evaluated the situation and decided that this was worth fighting for. Anger is a motivator. It should motivate you to speak out against wrong. What happens to most of us, though, is anger motivates us to speak out in the wrong. As I mentioned in January, anger is not necessarily sin in itself. Anger is a powerful emotion that God blessed us with. Anger can be used to motivate us into action when injustice is present and when danger is present. And there are times when God wants us to fight, not with our fists, but to speak up and battle against evil. So, what is it that you are holding on to today that is making it difficult to leave your ego at the door? As we go through our day, I want you, I want you to consider and think about those situations where we are allowing our ego to get the better of us. And we pray, Lord, to help us see the difference between being right and doing what is right. Give us the strength to fight against injustice and learn to back off when it comes to doing what we want to be right. Overall, Lord, help us to be angry for the wrongs of the world, and not always when we feel wronged by others. Grant us the grace of meekness. Amen. Saint Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday.